Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry, and I really need to tell you this story. I was in graduate school, I think it was my first year, working on a master's, and I was taking this um, graduate course with doctoral students, and it was on social movements. It was with one of the founders of the study of social movements, Dr. Elliot Rudwick. I turned in my first quiz, and we had a quiz every week. We had to read six books, and you had to choose. He chose which one was going to be the quiz. You never knew. Anyway, this was on the IWW, Industrial Workers of the World, or as they were called, the Wobblies. The I Wobbly Wobbly. <laughs> anyway, they, it, it's based on a story. It's a really wonderful story about how they got the name. Anyway, um, so the Industrial Workers of the World are you know, planning this protest. And um, I have to write about it, I have to write about this book that, that I read on the IWW. And so I write about it and I get my paper back and it's a C. And I was like, ooh, why'd I get a Z? I thought I had everything in here. And then I found out that it was like the only C. Everybody else had failed. But for me, that that still, that's not good enough, that I was working hard and I, I didn't understand what I did wrong. So I went to Professor Rudwick, Dr. Rudwick, and I was like, what did I do wrong? And he said, well, you know, um, it should have been a D. And I was like, listen, I am not saying that you were wrong. I'm saying, what did I do wrong? I want to know so that I don't do it again and so that I can learn from this process. And so he's like, what? A student who wants to learn? Sit down. Anyway, he takes me through it. He says, look here. You told me the date, you told me the time, you told me what happened. What were they wearing? What was the air like? Was there anything you could smell in this restaurant where they met? What was going on? And I said, oh, you're inviting me to tell a story? And he was like, everything is a story. <sighs> I thought about that the other day when I read one of the comments and someone said, you can turn anything into a story. And and I laughed at it because, no, you can't turn everything into a story. Everything already is. We have been turning stories into, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then what happened next? And then after that, and then after that, and then after that. And to make matters worse, we're living our lives that way. We don't see the story within the moment, the story within the peace that happened. We don't feel what happened. We don't experience it. We get so caught up on the details and flow charts and graphs that we don't see our own stories. To make matters worse, we start to tell someone else's story, projecting onto them the what ifs that we could have done in our own parallel thought of a universe. We begin to see somebody's what if, what if, if this had happened, then that. We speculate about somebody else's motives, wills, ways, not even seeing our own. We're so busy going and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, that we don't see the story. I'm so grateful to Dr. Rudwick for inviting me into that historical moment with the experience. And, and yes, facts and details, but what did it feel like? How did it feel yesterday when I was recording a podcast and I was actually seen as a woman of science and faith? seen as someone who could, could contribute to not only both of those spaces, but the both and. Someone who was seen as exceptional because I strive to be, and not because I was exceptional for a black woman. That whole experience is a whole nother story that I'll tell at a whole nother time when it's time, because we're not ready we're so busy doing the and thens. And the and thens are always about what happened to you and not what you contributed. I love you. See story. One more thing. Thank you, Sam and Lisa. <laughs>